big story. Meteor Madness. The search for the meteor like a wild, wild west gold rush. Well, we actually Googled it on the way here to see what the racks look like. Where you might be able to find a chunk and how much could it be worth? I've got the potential track of the meteor. In the last place it was seen and the science behind that big flash and those earth shaking booms. Plus the new picture is coming in on social media. And how to tell if you found a piece. It is the big story that everyone is still talking about, the meteor madness in Metro Detroit. That big flash in the sky last night now has people scouring the ground. Chopper 7 over the scene in Macomb Township, people searching for meteorites. A one pound chunk could literally potentially make you a millionaire. But the search may be expanding beyond Macomb. Experts now think pieces could also be in Hamburg Township, Chelsea, New Haven, or even Milford. With a rumble that shook the earth, social media lit up. Our phones here in the newsroom lit up. With a burst of those posts about that meteor, it illuminated the sky. Our big story team coverage takes you on the hunt for a piece of that space rock behind the science of the boom and also into space where the meteor madness began. And we begin with 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner, who's in the middle of it all in Macomb. And Jim, what exactly are people hoping to find? Glenda, they want a piece of the action, but let's face it, finding a piece of that out here might be greater than hitting the lottery, but they came out here anyway, searching these fields and inside these trees. So what exactly does this meteor look like? We actually Googled it on the way here to see what the racks look like. NASA experts said this morning the now famous meteoric flash in the sky likely caused it to bust up with a piece or pieces landing right here in Macomb County. So the rush was on with the curious coming out to see for themselves, looking for small and not so small pieces. Anything from a cue ball from a pool table to uh, something from three meters. Take a look from Chopper 7, the people frantically covering several square miles here in northern Macomb County, sort of like looking for that needle in the haystack. I can imagine the size of the rocks. They'd probably be super small if they survived. What could be big is the value. Experts say 300 bucks a gram if it is the real deal, and the bigger and heavier, the greater value because it is a piece of the heavens. Apparently it's worth big money. Could be a million dollars if it's a pound or more. That'd be real nice. <laughs> Retire early. You're just taking the day off of school, huh? Yep. You're learning it's what, cold out here? Yep. Now coming up next hour at six, not everybody out here left cold and empty handed. Some people did find an unusual rock. Is it the real deal? We'll see you next hour at 6. Live in northern Macomb County, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Sounds like it's worth the stroll, Jim. So what exactly did the meteor leave behind, and how do you know if you found a piece of it? As part of our big story, 7 Action News reporter Amira David stopped by Cranbrook Planetarium to find out what to look for. This is this is one for the record books. It's now on the record a meteor fireball blasting the sky in a big way last night. What we saw was a large chunk of most likely rock, stony rock that exploded uh, above southeastern Michigan. Scientists at Cranbrook Planetarium say this was no average meteor in size. I would guess that it's car sized. Um, we know the one that hit in 2013 in Russia was about 50 feet wide. This was not a big, as big an event as that was, so it's smaller than that, but this was a big event. Despite being massive, it wasn't visible for more than 30 seconds in the sky. And while the chatter began with the sights and sounds of the phenomenon, the focus for some now is where we can find the remains. Scientists have tracked that location to the epicenter of the 2.0 magnitude earthquake that shook Macomb Township. NASA saying today that they believe there are meteorites that fell to the ground near the region. So how do you know if you found one? You see this black crust all around it and you can sort of see little thumbprints on it here. John Zawiski, a geologist, identifies the debris for a living. And you can also see where it's chipped. There's a lighter color on the inside. Color, shape and material, all characteristics considered. And he says you can expect them to be at least weekly attached to a magnet. 
So some good suggestions there, but take a look at this. This is a really great example of what the leftovers of that meteorite could look like. It's the same kind of rock. If you're looking to find a piece for yourself, the best bet is heading out to the epicenter of the earthquake in Macomb Township, but they are really rare to find. So if you get your hands on one, consider yourself lucky. At Cranbrook Planetarium, Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, Amira, thank you. Here's a look at the timeline of the meteor over Michigan. Around 8, 10 last Last night, the sky lit up with a bright flash. Less than a minute later, loud booms were heard all over our area. At 936, the National Weather Service in Detroit tweeted that the flash and boom were not lightning or thunder, but likely a meteor. At 1118, the U.S. Geological Survey confirmed that a meteor occurred and the explosion in the atmosphere registered as a point as a 2.0 magnitude earthquake. Our, our big story coverage continues now. Kevin Jeans, our meteorologist, uh, with the track of that meteor and the science behind last night's big show in the sky. Kevin? It, it has everybody fascinated and just as much, I, can, I think, just a little bewildered when it actually happened. You thought, was that thunder? Is there thunder snow? Is that lightning? Did a transformer blow? Well, it's a meteor fireball. It's called a fireball, and for obvious reasons, you saw the bright flash, but it was traveling as fast as 28,000 miles per hour. So the friction and the heat as the rock is going through and entering into the Earth's atmosphere essentially causes that big bright flash that you see and how fast it's traveling. It doesn't last very long, no more than just a few seconds. And then afterward, you can hear a boom. Now, what you're basically hearing is a sonic boom. That means it's traveling faster than the speed of sound. Now, these are the sound waves. And as it travels, the sound waves out ahead of the object is actually compressing. And that compression is what you hear as the sonic boom. And the path potentially that it could have taken from the American Meteor Society, this is just based on observations, has it moving essentially just north of Brighton and and somewhere over Howell. Now that's just based on the last observation where it was last observed. That's not saying where pieces may have landed because there could be multiple pieces of small rock that has fallen off. So yes, this is a rare event given the size of this rock, but it actually it happens all the time. Much, much smaller size rocks, but uh, it is incredible to witness and the videos continue to pour in. So definitely fascinating to see, but uh, all not uh, that too much uh, too rare for us to see. Glenda. All right, Kevin, thank you. And check out our extended big story coverage on WXYZ.com. We have all sorts of video, photos, interviews with experts, and even how to figure out how much a meteorite is worth if you find one. And if you have video for us, please email it to us at send it at WXYZ.com.